The use of fossil fuels for energy is expensive, dirty and increasingly difficult. We prefer a cheap, clean, inexhaustible source of energy, vastly preferable. In the time-honored tradition of the happily deranged, this video explains the design and principles of such a machine and gives experiments. Some elementary observation combining the ideas of Einstein, Levy and Magnesco lead to a new model of capillary reaction. So, how do the trees get the water up there? That's what we need to know. So, capillary reaction. Simple mechanics to get the equation of motion from the equilibrium state. From there, the specific dynamics of acceleration, velocity and position are easily obtained. What if we add a spout? The first prediction is that the height of the meniscus in the spout diminishes and the height of the meniscus in the tube increases as the water rises. What if we add a non-wetting spout? Predict that if the spout is blocked, the meniscus will sit inside the capillary tube. The proposed machine cycle. The equipment required is a capillary with a non-wetting spout and a not wetting fixed stopping rod. The cycle consists of the water going up, the non-wetting spout being opened at the right time, water proceeding up until the fixed non-wetting rod, meniscus stopping, the air continuing up, water falling down, returning to the original position. How does this work? Well, let's look at the geometry of water. You have basically a tetrahedron with opposing vertices oppositely charged leading to a dipole structure in the water molecule based on the sp3 orbitals. Glass has a very similar structure, SiO2. The attraction is electronic. Rolling electronic attraction causes the meniscus to run up the glass wall. Run up the wall, yeah, right. What are we really talking about? Let's look at Einstein's basis for the kinetic theory. Position is Brownian motion, momentum, white noise in phase space. We conjecture there is an Einstein Levy zone forms between the water molecules and the glass. It is radially symmetric, leading to a global conservation of, of momentum, effectively a second law in the kinetic theory. Whilst the locally, the time correlations imply that the time integral of correlation is strictly zero, is strictly greater than zero leading to work being done and a drop in the water temperature. Yes, we're breaking the second law. Loving it? Maybe. Consider the passage of a molecule to a stopping point in the glass. As it transfers over the width of the last water molecule, it undergoes asymmetric thermal fluctuation. Note the difference to the Brownian ratchet, which very famously does not work, as mathematically demonstrated by Magnesco. In this case, we have broken symmetry and time correlations. Specifically, molecular electronic asymmetry, field geometry that alters momentum autocorrelations, and the field geometry that maintains global symmetry can result in motion. So we start with an initial state, we make a T, Brownian motion, splits off in the process of Brownian variation and a smaller Brownian motion, which is the final heat state upon docking. Yeah, bloody fascinating, but enough amateur physics for now. How do we actually get this to work? Well, we need to build capillary with non-wetting spout or spouts arranged to minimise turbulence. Turbulence and surface tension formation is going to be the challenge, but it's just an engineering challenge, the energy is there. Just strap a number of these things together, coordinate of course, reduce cost, no carbon, inexhaustible, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. We really want to see if it works. Experiment one, verification of the spout meniscus behaviour. Verifies the pressure equations. The important experiment is experiment two. Confirm that the non-wetting spout machine can run cycles. The idea is that you secure a capillary rod with non-wetting spout, attempt to manage air inflow so as to obtain a cycle. We do need, of course, the machine to produce work net, so we need a pressure operator involved that needs no external work to actually operate the air inflow once the geometry has been decided. The second law, it's a dumb idea, it just won't work. A lot of Agasco's work, not that it's his interpretation, but I do think that this has a chance. It's one in a million, but it's a chance. Why not? It's a basic machine cycle. 
need to see if this can run. No more fossil fuels. If you have the capacity to fabricate capillary tubes with assorted non-wetting aperture geometry, please email me at oilatoiler at gmail.com. It may well be highly improbable that I am correct, but do bear in mind that all that needs to happen is that the water drops below the air because it's heavier. It happens all the time. 